Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas. Today I'm gonna show you a super rad speed up time effect using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it. So the only things you'll need for this tutorial to make it look cool is a tripod, check, a camera check, and you're gonna need some type of divider right here. In this case, for tutorial sake, I'm gonna be using this pole. Now you guys can use any type of thing, but these are what I'm gonna use. And basically, I'm gonna make up the speed time effect with the cars. So let's get into it. All right, so we're in Final Cut right now. When I filmed the shot, I did mine for almost a minute. It would have been ideal for me to get to a minute, but I got to like 39 seconds. However, when I was creating the shot, I realized this section right here was gonna cause some problems as I predicted. And yeah, but I'll show you quickly how to do it with this but I'm gonna show you another scene that I got so you guys know how the final is supposed to look all right so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this scene in this case I'm gonna hold the option button down on my keyboard and move the mouse up and then we duplicated the scene and we're gonna add a draw mask tool now before we do a draw mask tool I want to come up here and change it to 25% so we can see all right, click the top scene that we duplicated, come over here to draw mask, under mask, put that up top. Then it's gonna say control point. Now I wanna essentially have everything past this pole on the left to be moving fast and speeding up. So that's why I'm gonna draw my mask along this pole here. What we're gonna do from here is we're gonna increase the speed. I'm gonna go like eight times and then you should get an effect like this. As you can see, it does look a little funky though because of this backdrop right here and it looks a little off to me. Now luckily, hopefully you guys don't do the same mistake. I found this clip, the stock clip on video, video blocks and I downloaded it and it's kind of like the same concept. It was on a tripod, there's a barrier here, he's on the phone and there's cars passing by and we're gonna speed up the effect of the cars. So this clip is only 15 seconds. Like I said, you want this to ideally be a minute, but 30 seconds is cool. 15, we're gonna work with the word because no excuses. We get it done. That's how we do over here. We ignite it up. So again, you're gonna highlight the clip, insert into your timeline, hold down the option key and move your mouse up. That duplicates it. Now that that's selected, we come over here to mask, draw mask, and you put that up top. And we're gonna outline, we're gonna outline around his arm here by the barrier. So to play it safe, I'm gonna go here, here, and that should be good to go. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna speed it up. Let's go 8X, and it's only gonna last a minute one second actually but check it out though so one second isn't really much of nothing and if i'm gonna give you guys some value here what i did is i hit command c and i copy it and this is a little hack you guys can do to stretch it up now yes it would look cooler if you know it was different cars but i mean can you really tell or if you guys want to take it up a notch let's say let's make this uh 20x all right, let's see how big of a difference that is. That might look cooler. So I'm hit the V here, and let's copy the the two uh, the 20 X, and let's do that. So let's copy paste that all throughout. That looks a little cooler. So there's work there's workarounds in case you don't fulfill it right. You can always make something work. Real quickly, I want to also thank you guys for helping this channel reached a thousand subscribers. I've been on this YouTube journey for two years, so I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you guys keep enjoying these Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to slap that like button for me. And if you want to see more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials like this one in the future, as well as unboxings and gear reviews, please subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.